So when the choreography is forming in your head, I'm talking to you, I'm a total neophyte. Yeah, yeah. Right? I don't know anything about choreography. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do you mean the generalities and the energies of what this scene must be like visually, or you mean the particulars? Okay, so there's 21 production numbers on Chicago. I'll use Chicago, this is a huge show. Now, those big numbers, I storyboard them, just like in a film. I storyboard every production number. So what I do is I go through all, like, who's in this number? What story are we telling? I am not, um, I admire, you know, TikTok. You look at the dancing on TikTok, I'm like, they're amazing. And, but it's not story driven, right? They are, this is a dance, it's very cool. It's all about moves. It's all about the intricacy of the move. And, and that's not, that's not where I, my strength is. My strength is in story and movement within the story. So principles, we don't want to stop a show. We don't want to stop a story because we're doing a production number. We want it to further the plot. Chicago is one of those shows that each number is about plot. It's a, it, it tells us about the character. So you, you, know, you storyboard because, or, or in Oklahoma, where you, we don't want to lose our, our principal players in this who are driving the story. Um, by having them, you know, you sit down over here and we'll take it from here. Um, it's super important in a musical, choreographically, yes, the dance is important, but what's important is that I build a community. So when I cast, when I, everything's about a community on stage. And so we have to have the community first, and then everybody has to know who they are in that community. So the community of the players or the community of the performers and the designers and the... The community of the show. The community of the show. Of the show. Okay. So now we have a community, and that then informs to me in a way of how people will move. Right. Who are these people? What do we, you know? And, and when and you're storyboarding, are we three months out from first rehearsal? Yep. We're three months out. Yep. I'm just thinking out loud. If we start rehearsals February, I'd be pretty hard at it by November. Are you cast by this point? Yep. When did you cast in the June, year advance? June, July, we start here. In a commercial S show, uh, it would be four months out. Like I'm, Four months I'm out. casting now for a show I'm doing in the U.S. in June. I'm casting, I start casting in February. Yeah. Yeah. And how, in, in, in creating the community, the community of the story, the yeah. community of the play with the designers, how, where does the casting figure into this? Okay. You know, if I get Dan to do this part, I could do this. If Dan's not available, I'll have to go with Mike. Oh, yeah, I can. Does that yes, come into course, it? Yes, of course, because, you know, actors will bring different skill sets to the table. Right. So you, I always like to look at, look, that you want to capitalize on an actor's strengths, you know, and everyone is just a lot happier. I don't need, to, I'm not married to steps. I don't care about that. I, I have an idea in my head, mostly because I need to download it out of here. So I need to get a structure of these production numbers. And I mean, when I say structure, I mean the actual steps all choreographically. And I, my associates take that. They put it in their heads, we video, and I take it out of mine. Right. That has to happen. And then we, because dancers, it, they're athletes. You know, no athlete wouldn't train. You wouldn't think I'm going to start, I'm going to run that half marathon, but I'm not going to do any running before. I'm just going to wing it. Dancers have to also train in a show. They're not going to come out of the gate and be able to do all this. They have to slowly, stamina-wise, strength-wise, you know, everything takes time. Because I, you know, I, I don't want a dancer injured. You know, you don't, you want people to feel safe in a room. It, all of that takes time. So the more prepared I am, the more freedom I have. A director, a choreographer, always, I've said when I've been asked about, you know, I've mentored and, and advice, I've said just, it's easy. Just be prepared. Do your preparation. Get ready. Know that material like the back of your hand. I don't want to go back to my script and figure out what, came, what happens before this scene, what happens after. I need to know that. So study and learn your show. And be prepared and, and have a, an idea of what this world is. Having said that, you don't want to do so much that the actors feel like, oh, I, I guess I'm just fitting into this for you. You want, the reason you want something to start with is because then you can play. Then you can get rid of it and try that. You know, and, and then everybody knows where they fit into this. So I don't know if that answers the question or not, but I, I, I do have a method of we start 
and then the lighting designer comes in and the, the sound designer comes in. We sit Two months in, table. three months out? Where are they in? Where oh, they? they're out. They're in a lot earlier. They're the in last three months for me are, are the push for choreography. It's the push for budget and making some changes in the set for budget. That's right. the last part of it. That, that's the fiscal part. And then, you know, making just making sure we're, we're ready and stuff's being built.